So you want to get funded. All right, you've come to the right video. As the title says, why is it that 90% of startups don't get funded at all? Uh, why is it that startups fail to reach uh, the connection that they're trying, trying to connect with? Why can't they get in front of people? Um, why this? Why that? At the end of the day, it's the exact same question is how can I get funded? So I'm going to show you how you can get funded or how you can improve your chances of get, getting funded. Hi, my name is Arif Mirza. I've been a venture capitalist for the last 18 years. I've seen pretty much every single silly idea get funded. And I'm not surprised that, you know, these people um, use their creativity to get in front of the right people and get funded, uh, use the right connections to get to the right people to get funded. So I'm going to share all these secrets with you. So first of all, figure out that do you really need funding? Because most of the companies, they don't need funding. They think they need funding. They just need guidance. They need guidance on how to get to the next level. And there's a difference between guidance and money. So both can cost you money, but they're not going to give you money. So let me explain how, what I mean by that is right now you got this full piece of pie, right? Full piece of pie. You have a great team. You have a great product. You have the amazing idea. You're driven. You're, you're, you're just ready to go. And you're like, you know what? I just need funding. But if you get somebody to just analyze your situation, they can actually tell you if you need funding or not because you have this big, amazing piece of pie. Why do you want to share with people? And it's not free. You gotta give. You, <laughs> you, you gotta pay them back, right? So, but let's just say that you say, "Ah, oh, no, I don't care. I just want funding." Sure. Let me show you simple way on how to improve your chances of getting funded. Number one, know your market. Know your market well. Know who you are going after because biggest mistake people make is they just send their pitch deck to just about anybody. And let's say you send it to a hundred different people and of those, out of those hundred people, only like five of them are the, the, the people that you should, you should be reaching out. So 95% of your work has gone to waste and then you, you, you're you getting discouraged and you're saying, I've, I've reached out to hundreds of people, but nobody's looking at my, my, my idea at all. Nobody's replying. Well, they're not going to reply to you because you don't fall into their category and into their industry. So let's say I invest in um, AI, for example, and your venture is not about AI. I'm not going to reply to you. Simple as that, because I've got so much incoming from people who, ha who are in my industry, who are within the AI market, and they're reaching out to me. So I'm not going to even waste my time replying to you. So number one, know who to contact. Second is how to contact them, okay? Because if a person is getting, or, or a certain company, certain hedge fund or um, a venture fund is getting so much incoming, how do you stand out from others? So you need to set yourself apart. When you send out a message even on uh, LinkedIn, for example, your message has to be short and simple that catches attention of that person, and it has to be unique. For example, um, you see that somebody is a CEO or a manager, manager of a certain fund and they got their anniversaries coming up and you say, okay, 10 year anniversary. And LinkedIn gives you this option, just press a button, congratulations on your 10 years anniversary. Every single person is doing the same thing. What you wanna do is maybe send out a video message or a voice message to that person. So that sets you apart and said, look, hey, I wanted to take the time out to actually congratulate you rather than just pressing a button. Trust me, it makes a, it makes a huge difference. You're connecting with that person different from how others are connecting with that person. Second is, again, let's say they, you know, they don't reply to you because, again, thousands of people have sent them the same message. Uh, chances are your message is not going get, to uh, get noticed uh, that much. So what you do is you look for people within your network that might be connected to them. So let's say you're, you're, you're reaching out to me, all right? You contacted me on LinkedIn. You sent me a message. I read your message, but I didn't, I didn't reply to you. Send me another follow-up message. Uh, I read it, didn't reply to you. You send me a third message. I read it, I don't reply to you. Now, the chances are the reason why I'm not replying to you is because you're not in my 
um, you're not the, the type of projects that I invest in. Me personally, I'll probably reply to you and say, look, um, uh, we don't cover your um, your type of uh, investments. We we have a certain market that we invest in. For example, ours is gated communities, um, buying businesses, buying uh, investing in large, massive projects. We don't like when it comes to real estate. We don't invest in single villas or apartments or even you know 10, 10 villas, fifteen villas. We invest in massive projects. So. Uh, let's say you, you're creating an entire area, that's what we invest in. So if you're not aligned with me, uh, it's very hard for me to reply to you. So going back to how can you get in touch with me? So you tried sending me a message and you didn't get through. So what you want to do now is you want to see who is connected uh, to me on LinkedIn. Um, and uh, You have the same connection uh, connection to them. Reach out to them and say, look, I'm trying to get uh, in touch with Mr. Mirza but I'm not able to do so. We share a common connection. Are you close enough to deliver my, my message? Trust me, people do this to me all day long. People say, bring me ideas. They, bring, they send me these messages and say, hey, hey, Arf, you, need to look, you need to look at this, this idea. And I look at those because my job is actually to fund, to invest in ideas because that's how we grow. We don't just take money and keep piling it and piling it and piling it and hoping that it's going to grow. Money doesn't grow like that. I'm going to give you a secret. All these funds out there, all these funds out there are looking to invest. So it's not like, oh, uh, they're not interested in investing. Every single fund is interested in invest investing because that's how we make our money. If we don't invest, we don't grow. We, we, we can't make money. So we are actually looking for you, but we're looking to set you apart from others. So when you reach out to your network and say, hey, can you please put me in touch with uh, Mr. Mirza? Chances are they probably can put you in touch with me. You've seen some pictures of them with me. You've seen some uh, other uh, social uh, gatherings uh, that they're with me. So they're able to get to me directly. Reach out to them. Now, what deal you make with them is up to you. Okay, they can say, look, I'll put you in touch with them, but I have a fee, especially in Middle East. Okay, especially in Middle East, like Dubai, every single person will try to cash their network. You know, they say your your net worth is your network. So they will try and cash their net, uh, network saying, yes, I know this person. I can introduce you to this person. Uh, but it's going to cost you. What is going to cost you? That's between you and them. Is it money? Is it time? Is it a favor? That's between uh, you guys. But the advantage of going through people like that is very simple. Not only can they get you there faster, but they can even close that deal for you. So go find yourself a coach or, or a mentor who can help you launch your idea a lot faster, put you in front of all these funds because they built this relationship with these funds. Not only will they put you in front of these funds, they can even help you close that deal for you. Whatever their fee is, whatever the, the decision you guys make uh, between yourselves, that's up to you. Now, let's say somebody does put you in front of me or, or another fund. You have only a few minutes to explain your idea. I'm not going to give you all day to explain your idea. A few minutes to explain your idea. So know it well, know it better than anybody else because this is a vehicle that you are about to drive. So I need to know how well can you drive that, that, we, uh, that vehicle? How good is your team? How knowledgeable is your team? What is your game plan? Because you might think I'm looking at your idea. I'm not looking at your idea. I'm looking at you. Can you drive this powerful car or are you going to, like I'm going to put, put an engine in this, in this car for you. I'm going to invest in this car for you and you're not able to drive this car. All right. So I'm looking to invest in you. So make sure that you as head of this project know exactly what you're talking about. You can explain your vision with the positive energy where I'm saying, you know what, this is the person. Because look, I'll be honest with you. We invest in so many ideas and most of them don't do well. Most of them don't do well. So it's not like you're the you're one person that, oh, um, you know, what if my idea fails? No, if you already think it's going to fail, it will fail. But if you can explain it well and you know your roadmap, trust me, money will follow. We will more than gladly fund you, not only fund you, but we will put you in front of other investors. So let's say I picked you up on seed stage 
and now you're growing, I'm going to put you in front of other companies that can invest more in you because now I've got skin in the game. I want my money to grow. As more investors come in, the value of that company grows, the company overall grows, and we all make money. So it's finding the right network, finding the right people on how to pitch your idea. And when you do pitch your idea, make sure you get your, uh, your pitch deck uh, done professionally. Pitch your idea to people around you, people that, that that family and friends, pitch it to them and say, hey, I got this idea. Can I please pitch it to you so I can perfect my pitch? So when you do uh, end up uh, sitting in front of any, any, any fund, you are that much better on delivering your message. So pe most people will say, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna share my idea with, with others. What if they steal it? A lot of people don't have the time to steal your idea. Okay, people are not out there to steal idea. I, I mean, I, I was once there, I used to think, oh, I'm not gonna talk to anybody. Uh, what if they steal my idea? And then, you know, a few years later, you hear somebody has done a lot, <laughs> has launched a similar idea and done a much better job than the idea that I have, still have sitting in my closet. So don't be afraid to go and talk to people because a couple of things are happening now. One, people are getting to know what your idea is about. And then once they find out, look, you're about to pitch, uh, pitch to this amazing fund, they'll be like, wait a minute, this company is about to take off. This company is about to grow. So what do they do? They say, hey, how can I get in on this? See, you see what you've done here? Just by um, pitching your idea to your family and friends and, and within your network, you found yourself investors already. So when you come to a fund and they say, well, all right, that sounds good. How much of your own money are you putting into it? So you got to have your own skin in the game. And you can say, you know what? This is how much I have. And this is how much my friends and family and my, my network is willing to put. So you're already on attraction. So when we look at it, like, okay, there's people already supporting him. There's people willing to put money into his, uh, his, his idea. And he has his own money in his idea. So invest in yourself, okay? You have to invest in yourself. Go find a mentor, go find a coach who can make you better. Buy a book to read uh, and, and, and do, do more and more research. Go to seminars, learn as much as you can about your industry so you become the best of the best in that industry. Because again, I'll repeat the same thing again. We are not investing in your this magical idea. We are investing in you and how well you interact with, with the community around you and how well can you penetrate that market. So make yourself that much better on, on delivering yourself. And, you know, especially when it comes to sales, because what you're doing right now is you're selling. You're selling yourself to me. If you can't sell yourself to me, I don't care what idea you have, you're not going to be able to sell it, okay? You can have diamonds. You can have diamonds and gold and everything you can think of. If you're not able to sell, you are not going anywhere. One sale that can make a difference for you. So improve yourself all day long. That's how we do is we sell ourselves to people. So become a salesperson, sell yourself and your idea to people. Open up, go to anybody, meet a stranger, say, hey, I don't know you, you don't know me, but can I please run this off of you? Let me just show you my pitch, see what you think, okay? Uh, and they're not going to be biased because they don't know you. They don't know anything about you. Whenever I launch a product, trust me, even till this day, when I launch a product, I'll go down the street to even strangers, businesses, and I'll pre-market that idea just to see if people are willing to buy what I'm selling. So if they're not, it doesn't matter how much money I got from a, from a fund, uh, nobody's going to buy. It's not going to go anywhere. So do yourself a favor and do that fund a favor. Do your homework, put in the effort and make it happen. Now go, whatever your industry is, find a mentor or a coach in that industry and become that much better. Become as good as they are or surpass them. Now, if you want me to help you do that, I'll leave my details below and we'll get you started. Uh, it's not rocket science. Trust me. I know. I know people think it's very, very hard to get funded, but getting funded or getting money is one of the easiest things in the world once you know how. Remember, things become easier once you learn about them. Okay, so go out there and make it happen or get in touch and we'll do it for you.